It's just a game. What is the real life? Um, real life is, is a hurricane. Hurricane of dreams, hurricane of actions to realize these dreams. And um, I spent, as a normal man, uh, already since many years, this action, this branch, K K2 для, for, для Поляков. K2 для Поляков, то есть a specific dream for our nationality, for our community of mountaineers. And I was in 2003 on the higher altitude of K2 in winter. I would like to tell you about uh, stories that I realized, that I dream. It was a hurricane of my um, adventure this winter. It started, of course, uh, from small mountains because I did some trainings. It was important uh, to do it on the blade as I usually did many years, many times ago, many times before. These uh, mountains uh, close to my home give me possibility to make exercises with different of altitude in 1,000 meters. I was running, I was uh, doing some gyms especially, and then to be ready to participate in the Polish national team on the winter K2 expedition. I think that volume is, should be better here, a little bit in case of possi possibility. Probably not. Uh, okay, we were, we were together in uh, a big team, and uh, I think that all our athletes were prepared very well uh, because we tried to do our best uh, from uh, the base of mountain till the summit. We did this uh, normal style of ascent in Himalayan style. Uh, we were working with Pakistan porters. We did step-by-step -step fixed ropes. Uh, establish the tents. It was a normal uh, adventure in high altitude, but uh, I was thinking about a little bit different, about uh, some nervous action that uh, uh, give uh, one specific splash finally. And of course I try to do every step so much, so much as I can, better and better, and I establish camp one, uh, helping uh, to the friends, of course, and the friends helped to me also to uh, establish Camp 2 on altitude of 6,200 meters. But something was going wrong, something was not enough. And uh, finally, when we uh, went uh, up with Marcin Kachkan in the last camp, we understood that this uh, not safety route. We were working uh, against of the stones fall, stone falls, against of uh, strong wind, bad weather. But uh, we turned back without uh, um, normal approach. It was okay. Sad story that uh, during um, the organization of the camps of the uh, ropes, we lost uh, some of our friends. For example, uh, Adam Belecki received the stone to the head. Also, Rafael Fronia was kicked by the stone and broke the, his hand. It was a normal expedition and we lost friends. Also, I uh, get stoned to the knee and was not able to act normally sometime. But I tried to do, I tried to realize myself always as much as I can. And in this reason, I turned to one idea to try to do ascent on K2 from the other side. I suggest to my friends, maybe to share uh, this plan. We, were, we did recognition of that road. Um, but I was disciplined uh, soldier, as, usual, as usually. Our, Kshishto, our leader of expedition, Pan Kshishto Vilitsky, decided that we have to do normal uh, Italian route. And this reason, we push ourselves to work so much as we can by, the, uh, by that way on the Abruzzi Spur. 
you know that uh, mountains has very specific challenge, very specific uh, voice calling for the adventure. And I was trying always to do my best. Sometimes people, my friends, don't understood me. And uh, I was very sad when I come back from altitude, working a lot, hardly. And uh, some people were sitting like this and asking me, OK, what do you have to do now? Realize the report for us, please, even without please. They told uh, something uh, aggressively. And I decided that, OK, for me, it's not comfortable. Uh, to cooperate with some of them. But with Adam Belecki, Marcin Kachkan, also some other good friends, we still to continue our good relation. And this reason, uh, with Adam, we reach the highest point on the south uh, flank, on the south side of K2 in winter, uh, 7,400 meters. Nobody went more upper than Adam and me. And it was our part to do something uh, for the positive way of development of the project, of the expedition. But when we turn back, uh, also, you know, there is one ethical problem that I suppose that, okay, I have my inner opinion about winter K2, that winter uh, has to be finished, has to be over on the 28th of February. And this reason I was looking for the forecast and I decided that uh, we have just last chance to do uh, attempts for the real winter, as I, as I think, uh, on K2. And uh, I went up alone uh, by the slope of K2, by the normal route, uh, Italian way, Abruzzi, Spur, uh, to do, uh, to realize my possibility, to realize my ambition, ambition step to uh, do something better than other people, to do something maybe more sportively. I went alone, I, I dig one cave on the altitude of 7,200 meters. I spent very difficult night, and then I went um, for the summit push next morning. I was falling in one crevice in another. I was very risky, uh, in, in very risky position. This is a price. This is a normal price that we have to pay for a real adventure. In case you go by the a very narrow bridge, it become narrow, more thin, more delicate, and you can uh, do wrong any step, next step, and you can, uh, you have very few opportunity, very few, possi poss few possibility to turn back. This is the shark of adventure. This is the hurricane of the uh, dream realization. And uh, this make me nervous, this give me specific uh, sensibility for the life, and I try to do always something like this. Of course, is uh, sometimes I think this is too ambitional, but but this is my right to choose um, what I have to do. Even you can see. Sometime by the road, you close to the Italian town, small town Bergamo, you have to see one man going, doing some stupid exercises by the fence. And uh, you have to think that uh, he's really stupid. Uh, also, he is running uh, difficultly for nothing. It's a, it's a real song of dire straits. Money for nothing is a check for free. I am trying to do always something uh, difficult, something very um, energetical to be on the blade of attack. And it's possible to see uh, not only me, it's possible to see that every one of us can realize something um, as a real dreams, as a hurricane of adventures. And uh, since many years I was just only normal military. I'm a normal father in family, I like my kids, I like to do something better for them always. I'm a presenter, I look that uh, sometimes people uh, like to see me in the um, famous pages of the books also. And uh, I like to answer, I like to answer for this goal, for this challenge. I like to do something good, something very interesting and positive. What? What does it mean uh, for me, in my opinion, uh, of mountaineer uh, to do something positive in mountains?
always I prepare my expeditions from the bottom to the summit is one splash. Uh, sometimes, of course, Himalayan style is different, but uh, something that is more interesting for me, if you start from the beginning of the phase until the summit, you are going by the direct way uh, to realize the dream in one strong, strong effort to realize the challenge, to get the real, real positive goal. I think that uh, normal mountaineering uh, sometimes is, in logical way, looks as a uh, construction of houses. Uh, you start from the bottom, from the beginning, then step by step you clean the position, you analyze the direction of the building, you have the plan, then uh, you step by step you add one stone to another, one block to the next, and then uh, finally you receive one very good art, as in building, as in construction of the houses, and it gives possibility for the people to live there. It's a realization of your, uh, of your professionalism, of your ability to be humans. And how to do is also another question. Because um, uh, in mountaineering, we have many answers, many uh, ways uh, how to realize uh, the ascents, uh, especially for us, always helping a development of the civilization. It's possible to see new uh, crampons, uh, new equipment, new uh, jackets, new sleeping bags, everything, something important that gives for us uh, civilization. And with this, um, it's not become less or more happiness. It's just only possibility to do something that never was uh, dreaming a previous generation, for example. Uh, new equipment for the safety, new uh, okay, units to go ahead, to, uh, to sleep even on the night, to uh, be protected from the bad weather in, in the, uh, on the face, on the rocky face, on the rocky bastion. I told you that uh, uh, the quality of adventure changed almost nothing uh, as a hundred years ago or now. Uh, we have to be happy. This is the most important uh, uh, value for our adventures. And also new food, new technologies of the uh, preparation of the food. Uh, we have light gas, light balloons. Help for us just to be uh, safer, to be faster. In case to see um, 100 years ago, for example, uh, even 150, uh, people were going to the mountains with uh, uh, heavy backpacks uh, just to spend uh, some days in expedition to be able to act. Uh, then I was able also to check by myself uh, just 30 years ago, uh, 20, how we went uh, with much more or less equipment, just only 30 kilograms, in same condition, in same quality of the survival. And now in K2 Winter Expedition, uh, thanks to technologies, we have with the uh, same amount of the survival, even only 15 kilos. It helped for us, of course, to uh, avoid the additional risk, to do something more uh, difficult, more interesting. It's the same emotions, similar as 150 years ago, just we have possibility to realize our uh, real aims more better, more uh, interesting, more positively than were in dreaming, in dreams of previous generations, of course. It doesn't mean that we are best or we are worst. It's just something different. Then take a time. And the time is a very important question also. When? When is it necessary to start this hurricane of adventures? Um, I can tell you, it's necessary to start yesterday, even. 
Because every one of us, uh, if you will analyze, already passed so many moments of the life that you have to realize much more better in case you analyze it previously. And uh, fortunately, fortunately, life put me in the very correct stream from the beginning of my, uh, from, okay, from the, my young age, when I spent some adventures with, with my father, then in the university, I was able to choose always the best opportunity for me to be happy. And to be really happy for me means that I have to spend mountaineering in the very, very, very difficult condition, even in winter, even on high altitude. It was a circle. It was a circle. Step by step, I went uh, uh, up and up by this, um, okay, tornado of adventures till the upper uh, floating of the upper uh, part of the sky. And, uh, of course, nervous uh, position give me a lot of emotions that I can share with other uh, people, with you even. And, uh, of course, to be able to realize it, I need to do a lot of trainings. Even you can see every day, every moment, uh, you can see me on the street running, uh, climbing by the rocky uh, fence, only by the stones, to do nothing. Nothing compared with uh, normal uh, mentally people. I'm doing nothing, just realize my personal egoistical ambitions. Ambitions to be adventurer, to uh, get uh, pleasure from the, my style of life. Remember this, I am just mountaineer. And to be mountaineer is very risky. Many people uh, forget that, normally forgot that uh, mountains is a very risky area, it's not only adventure. But this is a part of game, part of the happiness. And in case we will cut risk from normal actions of our life, I think, we will be less happy. And in this reason also, I spent it in the extremal condition of the risk, of the efforts, of the challenge. It's also important to remember with uh, whom. Uh, who is the best uh, adventurer for me also as my reflection in the mirror? Many people thought that I am real egoist. I agree. I am egoist. And I think that uh, I have many, many egoistical uh, desires in the different realization directions. And uh, sometimes I meet another egoist person who also has some controversial desires, wishes to be in different position, but some of our directions, especially in mountains, they are going in parallel ways, in direction to get the aim, to get the goal. And in this reason, our efforts can be uh, stronger even four, ten times more. You understand me? This is very important to be with egoist, with egoistical way, with some very good person. When I get uh, exercises with my friends also, and I spend also then expeditions, I understand that it's very important to spend the same mentality in mountains, to spend plus minus similar uh, wishing to realize uh, some, some modes uh, very similar to realize the mountaineering. And uh, even in 2003, I remember that some uh, people who participate in Winter K2 expedition uh, we have different mentality, but some of us who was working in real good uh, similar condition, we get very good goals, very good challenges realized on the high altitude. And uh, when I was a coach also working, I understand that it's better to prepare my team, my friends who are thinking in similar way, in similar uh, relation to the mountains, and I am working as a coach of mountaineering already since 
20 years, I think. Something that I took from previous generations, I was able to put in the young uh, generation, in the uh, people who was following my uh, suggestions. I'm, I'm never taking someone to the mountains uh, by myself. No, let's go to the mountains. Just in case someone asked me, Dennis, help me, I help for people to do it. Elizabeth, nice to see you. Adam, I have her. Блять, не зря. Элизабет, drink. It's maybe not warm, but it's wet. You become star. Элизабет, револь. Star, star for for night. Unfortunately, we were not able to help Fotomek Matskevich on the slope of Nanga Parbat. But in any case, it's possible to see our action as a positive way. Because we survived one lady, French mountaineer, Elizabeth Rivol. And uh, for me, always strange answer, a strange question and very difficult answer. Why? Why we are doing this? Why? Because uh, it's a hurricane. It's a hurricane of emotions, hurricane of adventures, how can all, hurricane of realization of our abilities to be humans. This is something as an art, in case you will see in uh, mountaineering from this position, probably we will find, uh, we'll find relation, we'll find cooperation with you why we are doing uh, difficult things, dangerous things in our human normal life. Even 
beside of the risk, beside of, despite of the very uh, difficult physical efforts, we are able to realize the dreams. And in 2009, I did one very strong ascent by the south face of Chuoyu. Uh, it was my dream, since many years. And I was very happy to see that uh, community of mountaineers appreciated that uh, people uh, were thinking, okay, it's, uh, that guys, Boris and me, they did something positive, they did something good. It means that our egoistical directions, our egoistical relation to the uh, life gives some uh, special value, special amount. This is also important, not for me personally, but for you. And then, as a real sportsman, I was very happy to get the uh, very important award of the mountaineering community as a symbol, as a symbol that I follow the correct way in my life. This is not something, oh, challenge, this my uh, award. No, this is confirmation. And also your attention is for me just confirmation. Okay, not just, it's very huge confirmation. Thank you that you give me a possibility to feel that I follow my very correct way of the life. But remember that I am only normal mountaineer. Thank you very much. Good luck.